A cowboy on a faithful horse I see Riding down the canyon to a cabin on the plain Always smiling, always worry free Reb and his old pal Reb Day's work's done, they're going home Cows of the wide open spaces Together o'er the plains they roam The cows and doggies graze in the evening Round the little cabin on the plain Guarded by Reb and faithful rebels Till daylight lights the open range again Ain't no use arguing, I won't do it. I don't like sheep any better than you do, but I ain't going to start any range war. I want you fellows to lay off this gunfighting and rough stuff. Now that's final. There's grass enough on the range for everyone. Just wanted to have a little parley with you. Wanted to find out what all the shooting was about. What business out of yours? I usually make it my business to horn in on a fight when the odds are eight to one. Well, this one fight you better stay out of. You know what's good for you. Oh, yeah? Well, you waddies better backtrack fast before I start a little rifle practice on you. Get going. All right, boy. Shoot, miss. I surrender. What do you want here? I just wanted to find out why those hombres were so hot on your trail. What's that to you? Well, you see, I sort of like excitement. And I thought I might take a hand. That is, if you'll let me. So, another love-making caballero, eh? No, 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 no. Just a minute, Rita. Maybe this gent ain't that kind. You see, stranger, I'm a sheep man. 
The rain's all dried up down in Mexico, so we got permission to drive our flocks up here. The cattlemen don't seem to like it. Is there any cattle outfit on this land? No, this is open range. But the Box D outfit down the river has ordered us out. Box D? Yeah. Is that the outfit old Seth Darnell on? Yes, and they blame us for that killing. Me and my father. Cripple. A cripple? Yes, he's been crippled for years. You don't look exactly like a Mexican, senor. My father is an American, James Furley. My mother was Spanish, so I, I am Mexican. We live always in Mexico, where people are kind and don't try with all men and girls. Where is the Box D Ranch? Oh, down the river, about 10 miles. Well, I think I'll ride over and see if we can't arbitrate with them. You'll come back again, no? Well, you just try and keep me away. What do you think of this hombre, chiquita? I think it's one grand caballero. He don't make what you call proposition. He not even tried to kiss me. Oh, there's a few white men left in America. If you can only find them. I was just a bit curious. Well, being too curious is a mighty bad habit sometimes. I'll call you, Jim. Three nines. Got a little straight. You want another stack? I suppose so. You expect me to hold on to these IOUs, Jim? Well, you promised you'd hold them, didn't you? I didn't promise to hang on to them forever, though. Oh, I'll take care of them. Don't worry. Is this an open game? Sure is. Sit in. Yeah, maybe you'll change my luck. a hundred to sit in this game, stranger. That's all right with me. Game, they didn't slip the cut. Hmm. 
wise guy, eh? No, only careful. I'm out of it. It's open for uh, $50. I call you. Raise you $300. I ain't got that much left. Oh, yes, you have. You've got a lot of the kids' IOUs in your pocket, and you didn't play him for table stake. I call you. Hard. I'll take one. And be sure it's off the top. I'll uh, take a couple. You see, they come off the top, too. What do you mean by that crack? I mean, it's plain suicide for any hombre to deal off the bottom when I'm sitting in the game. It's your bet. I pass. I'll bet it all. I ain't got that much of the kids' IOUs left. Then dig in your own jeans, if you want to call. All right. I'll just call you. See how much there is here. This sure is my lucky day, Mr. Cheyenne Kid. Just when I got the tip off, there was a big reward out for you. Howdy, Sheriff. See anybody pass here recent? Why, no. What's up? Plenty. We was hot after the Cheyenne kid. We lost sight of him when he headed this way. Who's the Cheyenne kid? He's 
a tough hombre, Clem. One of the worst gunfighters in the country. I had the drop on him in Pete Lang's saloon, but he made his getaway. If he come this direction, he must have turned off into the canyon. I bet that's what he done, Sheriff. We better take a look anyhow. Well, if you run on the kid, don't take any chances with him. We won't. What'd you protect him for, Clem? That's the Umbry that spoiled our play yesterday. I'm aiming to take care of him myself. You might get hold of the wildcat, too. Yeah? Well, don't you worry none. I'm plumb good at taming wildcats and meddling cowpokes. He was looking for a killer we got hold up here. Why didn't you give him up? Well, I kind of thought I'd like to collect the reward myself. And in the meantime, we might have use for a first-class gunman in our war on them sheep herders. Where is he? The barn. That's the man I was telling you about, Jane. One that had the fight with Pete. What are you doing up here? Hiding out, mostly. But looking for a job if I can find one. All right. You're hired. Man with your nerve ought to be valuable to us. Thanks, miss. But what is this job you're offering me? Helping me to drive out the sheep men. They killed my father. I'll never rest until I drive them all back into Mexico. But what about the reward? There'll be no rewards collected on any men that work for me. I want you to get that straight, Clem. Well, okay. Thanks again, miss. You don't look like a man that would be an outlaw and a killer. But the poster says so. Well, sometimes men are accused of crimes they don't commit. I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt. get out of the country. And you're still here. Yes, so what is it you will do? If you don't get out of here pronto, we'll shoot your herders and run your sheep into the river. You are a very brave caballero. Make war on a poor girl and cripple all men. Maybe you can fight better than you make love, no? I'm the boss. I'll give you and your outfit exactly three days to clear out. This is the last warning. There are still some white men in America, if you can find them. In? Yeah. Alone? Come in.
Come in. Oh. Hello, Clem. Howdy. I got Jim Darnell's name on enough IOUs to take the Box D ranch away from him. If he loses so many cattle, he can't pay off. How about the girl? She owns half the ranch. I know. She'll pay rather than see her brother run out of the country as a welcher. And I don't want enough cattle left to do her any good. Listen, Pete. You've made a big cleanup on the Darnell cattle and that fool kid. Why can't you leave the girl alone? Because I want the girl. And I'm going to have her. When I take her ranch away from her, maybe she'll be a little easier to handle. Okay. If you let me have your Rita gal, I've kind of fallen for her. And you say you're through with her. Don't be foolish. She wouldn't have nothing to do with you. No? <laughs> you don't mind me trying, do you? Sure enough. Well, I wish you luck. But don't let any woman interfere with your business. Reach for the roof, Pete. Now back up against the wall and keep your hands up. These are my notes, you know, so I just came after them. Chiquita. I got your message. So here I am. What do you want? Why, Rita, what do you mean? After all, I'm... You're nothing. In Mexico, you may love to me. Then you go away. Now you find me, but I do not care to see you. But, sweetheart... I'm not your sweetheart. I do not love you anymore. No? Well, maybe you're falling for some cowwaddy around here. And do you not make love to the beautiful American senorita? <laughs> That was only for business reasons. I don't care for your reasons. No? Well, you listen to me. Don't you go playing around with anybody else. Understand? I will do as I please. Always. Adios, senor. Pete.
soon the night time she come, and the moon she will be full, and Felipe will sing songs of old Mexico to you, Rita Mia. I do not feel like hearing songs now, Felipe. Tonight, no. Tonight, maybe you will forget the Americano, and then you will listen to Felipe, eh? Quién sabe. Well, boys, you better go take a look at the flock and keep an eye open for trouble. Sí, señor. Ven, muchacho. Vamos a ver. We'll have to give up, Chiquita, and go back to Mexico. We will not. Our ship will starve. Then we will starve. They say this great America is a free country. We will let them drive us out. Howdy, folks. Well, well, what do you want? Oh, nothing special. I just thought I'd pay you a little friendly visit. Well, see here. I'm a peaceable man, Sheehan. But if you come here to pester Rita again, I'll shoot you if I hang for it. Well, why don't you listen to reason, Farley? I don't aim to harm Rita. I want to marry her. And besides, I'm your friend. You are a friend. But you come with American senorita and you said you will drive us back to Mexico. I had to make a bluff, Rita. But if you'll be nice to me, I'll take care of you and see that everything's all right. Who are you, miserable hound? Now you get out of here, pronto! You keep out of this. No use of us killing each other over a Mex girl, kid. I reckon we both sort of lost our heads. I suppose so. Now you van move. I'll see you at the rain. Why, yeah. And maybe if I'm nice to you and let you make love to me, he will fix what you call everything all right, huh? Well, uh, I think you got this, Omri, all wrong. 
I was not wrong. When I saw him with the American senorita, in his smile so. When she told us to go back to Mexico. But you don't understand. It is true, I don't understand American men. Go back to your American senorita. Smile, smile. But don't come to Rita with your life. Well, I, I reckon you'd better go, kid. Rita's pretty well upset. Maybe in a couple of days she'll cool off. Sorry. All I should have known the game was crooked. Your being sorry isn't going to stop Pete Lang from trying to collect those IOUs. Have we enough cattle on the ranch to pay them off? I doubt it. The rustlers have taken an awful lot of our stock lately. Well, why doesn't the sheriff do something about it? Well, the rustlers are too clever. He hasn't anything to work on. We won't let those tinhorn gamblers beat us, Jim. We'll make it out some way. Jesus, this. You're a swell. Morning, Miss Darnell. Good morning, Sam. Good morning, Sam. Good morning, Jim. What is it? I've got something to talk over with you. Go ahead. Don't worry. You won't have much opposition at the sheep camp. Just do what I said, and I'll meet you later on at the hangout. Right. inside, Clem. I got something to tell you. What do you want? I was robbed of Jim Darnell's IOUs last night. You were what? Just what I said. And I'd have caught the galoot, too. My dumb bartender hadn't knocked me out with a chair by mistake. Did you recognize the umbry? Sure. It was that fellow that made his get away from the sheriff in my place. Go and get the Cheyenne kid, Slim. Why should you want the range war stop? You make your living as a gunfighter. There's lots of things you don't understand, Miss Darnell. I understand enough to know that the sheep men killed my father, Cheyenne. And I'll never quit fighting until they're all driven out of the country. What makes you think the Farley girls outfit had anything to do with the shooting of your father? There's lots of others. I don't know which one, but it was some sheep outfit. So they all have to go. I'll make a deal with you. If I get back your brother's IOUs and Pete Lang, will you lay off the Farley girl? So you've fallen for her, too. Not exactly. But I don't think her outfit had anything to do with the killing of your dad. We won't discuss that. But how do you know Jim owes Lang money? Because I've got the IOUs. Never mind how I got them. Is it a deal? No. Well, if that's the way you feel, there's nothing more I can say. Here's the I will use. Destroy them. Pardon me. Sam wants to see us at the bunkhouse, Diane. Excuse me. Kick in. Kick in with what? The IOUs that you stole from Pete Lang last night. I didn't steal them, they were mine. Well, you'll kick in just the same.
There's something funny going on around here, Jane. First Pete comes to see Clem, and then they all start chasing that gunfighting stranger. The Cyan kid's trying to help us, Jim. He got your IOUs from Pete last night and gave them to me. So that's what Pete's after him for, then. And Clem's in on the deal, too. You wait here. I'm going to town. The box D gang. Where's Rita? Rita? He took her away. I hear one of the hombres say he was going to meet the boss in Devil's Canyon, senor. Come on, Felipe, we're riding. Again. That bird may be all right, Joe, but I ain't taking any chances. You beat it back to the ranch and check with Clem. Okay.
You to listen to me, Pete. We wouldn't have been in this jam that we're in. Something's got to be done and done quick. The Cheyenne kid knows too much. All right. Then it's up to us to get him. In the meantime, I'll drive the cattle over the line. Yeah? You mean I'll take them across? My men have got to reach the Devil's Canyon, and I'm taking her with me. Listen, you. I'm boss of this outfit, and you'll do what I say. And I'm not so sure I want you to take Rita. Go ahead and make your draw. Only you won't get the chance to shoot me in the back like you done Darnell. Shut up, you fool. Send a Cheyenne kid to the cabin, Clem? I should say I didn't. Well, he wrote in a while ago and said you sent him. And he knows we've got Rita. We've got to get him now, or we'll all hang for kidnapping and murder. What do you want? Clement, he killed Dad. They rustled all the stock, too. It wasn't the sheep herders. How do you know that? I heard them talking. They've taken Rita Farley down to the Devil's Canyon, and the Cheyenne kid's gone after her. Hey, come on, man. We haven't got a minute to lose. I'd better go out there and saddle my horse. Sure.
come up. You got away once, Cheyenne, but you ain't going to be so lucky this time. man you want, Sheriff? The Cheyenne kid was in on the deal, too. Sure he was in on the deal, Clem. He's a deputy U.S. Marshal. Out here to find out who killed Seth Darnell. But there's a reward out for him. That was only a gag to get the goods on you, Clem. But you can't prove nothing. Nothing except kidnapping and the murder of Darnell. You and Pete talked a little too much in the bunkhouse the box D. Take him away, boys. Sorry, miss. I think I'll have to take him in. Nobody will ever take Pete in. He's dead. You know him? Yes. He was my husband. I married to him in Mexico. And he went away. I'm sorry. But you won't be bothered by the box D anymore. You mean we can stay here with our ship? I think so. Thanks, Diane, for everything you've done. Oh, that's all right. I've been thinking you'd be needing a new foreman, won't you? I guess so. Well, if I give up this deputy business, can I have the job? If you want it. Well, I sure do. It's a bargain. Hey, you. That ain't no way to bind a bargain. 